couple of years ago, we decided we would like to do a longer drive out, maybe over three days uh, and possibly over Easter. And I thought it would be great to take the Morris Minor Club over to uh, the Elam Valley via uh, the mountain viewpoint, which is about here. And then uh, on the bike rides, we discovered Limbriam Reservoir here. And my wife did some investigations and with the Metropole Hotel at Landridod Wells uh, looked to be pretty good. So we thought, well, that's the first day. Uh, second day, we could go up into the Elam Valley itself. Spectacular scenery, great roads. Uh, there's a small road that goes all the way around the reservoirs. Pops out at the top and you can take what they call the mountain road to Aberystwyth. Uh, great road, goes via the Devil's Bridge, uh, fish and chips at Aberystwyth, and then having had a quick look, I thought we'd take them round then to the Nant Emok Reservoir. Probably said that wrong, but there you go, such is life. Uh, returning via an E5 fuel stop, around about here, and then back to the Metropole at Flandrindod. And then, uh, as we've sort of covered about 250 miles ish, I thought we'd then take a slightly easier route 100 miles back to Seven View Services at Ost or was Ost via a road we sort of discovered, which is a military road often open to the public. Uh, best bet is on a bank holiday, which suits us via Tirabad and again it's some nice hardly used roads and then we go back via Brecon uh, to Abergavenny take the B roads through to Usk and then on to Chepstow and then say our goodbyes. Here we can see a summary of the route uh, it never turns out to be exactly where you drive but may be useful to you uh, also service your car maybe a week or two before give your car a chance to communicate if you've got something not quite right and um, we had a quiz on one of the nights so we had a pop star caricature theme for one of them uh, take a good look at those i'll give you the answers later Here we are at the mountain viewpoint, uh, great views of the Breckens. Sadly, I received a strike here from Martin as there was no ice cream van. Smidge disappointing. Here we have a view of Lynn Brianne Reservoir over the bonnet of Martin's car. Very arty. Um, a traffic cone put across the parking area for the Morris Miners at the Metropole Hotel. Very cool. Albeit we've moved on from the Avon branch to what are now called the Bristol branch. And then of course there's the actual parking itself and the hotel. Fantastic. It's day two and we're making our way to Rayada on the A470. We've all fueled up at the hotel with an enormous breakfast and now it's a quick stop at Ryada to find some E5 fuel before going on to the Elam Valley. Unfortunately, Ryada, the garages have sold out of E5, so let's hope there's enough fuel in the tank so that we can all make the anticipated 100 miles for the day. Elam Valley, here we come. Before you enter the Elan Valley proper, you come across the visitor centre for a great photo with the Cave and Cock Dam as a backdrop. 
make your way to the end of the car park. You need to be a little bit cheeky as the turnaround has double yellow lines. The parking is free for 20 minutes and makes for a useful comfort break. With Easter being later in the year, we'd hoped for decent weather. We were so fortunate, white cloud and sunshine makes all the difference. Approaching Craig Gough Dam and Craig Gough Reservoir, the arches you can see support a road to the other side of the dam. There's parking for a photo stop, but there are no roads to take you around the other side of the valley. Most of the time, the roads around the Elam Valley are wide enough for oncoming cars to pass without the need for passing places. Where the road crosses tributaries to the dam, the road narrows and twists and turns. A bit of throttle and the Torquay A series pulls you through. The road puts a bit of space between you and the water, perfect for a stop and some panoramic photos. As you come out of the Elam Valley, there's a fantastic switchback left that if you're really keen and put your boot down, you can get the near side wheel to spin up. Once you come to the top of that road, there's a T-junction and you turn left onto the mountain road to Aberystwyth. The mountain road to Aberystwyth or National Cycle Route 81. I think we'll stick with the mountain road to Aberystwyth. Much more interesting sounding. Nice bit of road. Watch out for bar lambs. The road gets a bit tighter the closer you get to the Devil's Bridge, with a few blind summits, tight bends and some drops on the left. It is a driver's road for sure. Sarah's dog Taff going home to Wales. Uh, very comfortable. All of the back seat to himself, bless him. Uh, the old AA call box. I uh, don't know what service you get from that these days, but there it is. Looks pretty. That was at uh, the Devil's Bridge, I think. And Peter Howe's car, lovely little green Ford or Peter Star at the moment doing the welding on the Bristol project car. After lunch at Aberystwyth, we make our way along the A487 to Tallybont, taking a right turn onto unclassified roads that lead to the Nantimok Reservoir. A lovely climb up to the reservoir, more impressive is the drop on the left. A few of the passengers, none too keen, being quite so close to that side of the road. You can see a few of the cars over on to the right. Great drive. We arrive at the Nantimok Reservoir. One of the things I love to see is a little arc of Morris Miners in the distance. A fab site. You can see them just starting to appear on the right of the screen and then work their way to the middle. It must be said there's a large number of cattle grids on this run. Some of them can loosen your fillings. Still, well worth the drive. Great spot to visit. Approaching uh, Nant Emok Dam, across another one of those infernal cattle grids. Something great about crossing a dam in a car. Skip to the final day, uh, military road via Tirabad, pops out onto the A40 Flywell. Uh, if you're lucky, you may come across an abandoned tank. Uh, respect to all of the folk that took part. There were no mechanical issues and everybody was up for the challenging drives. Looking to run this one again in a couple of years time. Keep an eye on the MMOC Bristol social media sites. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it. Catch up next time. Oh, crikey, nearly forgot the caricature quiz. So clockwise from top left, Amy Winehouse, uh, Adele, Ed Sheeran, the great Freddie Mercury, George Michael, Rita Ora, who?
I hear you say. Maka, Robbie, and Sam Smith. Hope you got some of them. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you've watched and enjoyed a few of our videos, you clearly like them, maybe subscribe. Hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you when the next video is available.